Hello everyone, welcome to RPG 4 minute videos for developers, part of programming of API series. In this video, we're going to learn about how to cache the data in Apache Edge and scale your existing APIs. Myself Anil Sagar, I work at Google on Apache platform. Prerequisites for this video, you need an Apache Edge account, you can register at apache.com slash edge. You need basics of API proxy and API policy in Apache Edge. For that, you can refer earlier 4 minute videos. Let's take a look at any use case uh, where you need scaling and how Apache Edge can help you. Let's say uh, you have a backend where you expose APIs to different stakeholders like internal employees, partners, and customers. Let's say your backend supports uh, tens of transactions per second, and whenever there is a high traffic coming into your backend, like thousands of transactions per second, your backend might go down because it is unable to handle the traffic loads. Most of the time, uh, the data that is present in the target servers might not change quite frequently. Like when it comes to the retail vertical, the product information doesn't change quite frequently. We can actually cache this data in RPG Edge and uh, handle the high traffic loads coming into the system at the gateway level. How RPG Edge cache policy works is basically whenever there is a request coming and response goes back to the client, we actually cache the data using the cache policy. And whenever there is a next request comes into Apache Edge, we verify if the cache data is present. If there is a cache data present for the particular request, we can able to send back the response directly from the Apache Edge. So that's how we can able to scale uh, the existing legacy services by caching the data in Apache Edge. Let's take a look at uh, cache in action in Apache Edge. Let's create a new API proxy. For that, you need to log in into Apache Edge Enterprise UI, and then click on develop, and then API proxies. Let's create a new API proxy. Click on plus proxy button to create a new proxy. We're gonna use the Google Books API to demonstrate the cache in action. I'm gonna use reverse proxy type I'm gonna, and say this uh, scale demo and use the existing API as googleapis.com slash book slash v1 slash volumes. Choose pass through, then choose the defaults Now we have the proxy. Let's make a few API calls and uh, trace it using the trace console in RPG Edge. Click on start trace session to start the trace session to see the API request in action. I'm going to use the proxy to make a call to the Google Books API and search for uh, Java related books. So when I make an API call, the request goes through RPG Edge and you can see it, it took around 490 milliseconds to get the response from the Google API's target server. Let's add the cache policy in RPG Edge and see how much time it'll take. Click on proxy endpoint default preflow. Click on step and click on response cache policy to add response cache policy. Response cache policy is a special policy in RPG Edge. When you attach it to the preflow of the request, it also attaches the same policy to the post flow of response. Since uh, we have to cache the data from the response, it is attached to the response uh, flow and whenever the re next request comes in, if you have a cache data available, we will find it in the request itself and send back the response from RPG Edge. Let's save the API proxy and see the cache in action. I'm going to switch back to the trace again and start a new trace session. Let's make a new call to the Google Books API. As you can see, it took 352 milliseconds and the request went all the way to the target server and they came back. When it came back to the RPG Edge, we are caching using the response cache policy. Let's make a few more calls to see the policy in action. As you can see, uh, from the second request onwards, it took around 400 milliseconds, almost like a 100x improvement in the API performance. So that's how you can able to scale your legacy APIs by caching the data in RPG Edge. Hope this video is helpful for you. Keep watching this space for more videos. And if you have any questions, please feel free to post your questions in community.apg.com. Thank you for watching this video.